got a new router, the Asus RTAC882, one of the best for the consumer market. Let's have a quick look. Asus has chosen a controversial marketing brand for this router, your best choice for games, 4K streaming and smart homes. This then is a beast, packed with a 1.4GHz dual core processor and 512MP RAM which is perfect for fast internet connection and decreases your gaming latency. Theoretically it delivers up to 3GB of throughput, 1GB on the 2.4GHz band and 2GB on the 5GHz band, that's why it's called an AC3200 router. I can feel the performance boost compared to my previous router, which is a Linksys DWRT1900AC and particularly faster response time. It supports multi-user MIMO which helps in handling multiple devices efficiently. So for the physical feature, in the front side, you have a USB 3.0 port for connecting hard disk or a print to a backup LT connection. Then there is a bunch of LED indicators, WPS LED button and Wi-Fi on off button. At the back side, you have a reset button, WPS button, USB 2.0 port, whooping 8 gigabit port, one port, DC power input, and power button. Loving this red accent at the top clearly makes it unique and more directed towards gamers. The first two gigabit port can work together to provide speed up to two gigabit. That's a great feature if you have a network connected hard disk shared among several users, all using the same time. But probably most of us do not own a networked storage with double network interface. We can't expect this to be a small router with all the features packed in. Here's a side by side comprise with old router, the Linksys WRT1900AC. One thing for sure you're gonna need enough space over your desk for this beast. This thing is rich in management features accessible via web interface. Let's plug it in and have a quick look around. If you own an Asus router then this interface should be familiar to you. It's user friendly and responsive. It performs much better than my old Linksys router. Let's go through some pages. For the network map, you can check your connection status, your IP address, your Wi-Fi security, connected clients and the utilization of your CPU and RAM. For guest network, it's pretty simple, you can have up to 3 guest network per band. Just click enable, review the settings and click apply. The AI protection webpage to help you protect your network from malware and intrusions. You also have the parental control which is a very useful tool for parents to monitor the children. Adaptive QoS page. In this page you can monitor the bandwidth usage of each user as well as prioritize each connected devices. Here is the QoS configuration webpage and web history. Obviously I have this disabled for privacy reasons. The Game Boost page. It's mostly what you're looking for if you're a gamer. You have the WT Fast as well as the Plan Boost for prioritizing games over the network. Now the WT Fast is worthless at the moment because it supports only a handful of games and doesn't support any of the games I play. On the Traffic Analyzer section, you can view statistics of internet usage daily, weekly or monthly, whether it's for your whole network or just for a particular client. You can view detailed information of any app consuming bandwidth from the network. This thing is really deep and it's one of the features I like about this router. For the USB application page, there's nothing more I can say about it. You can pause this video to see what's there. My favorite feature in this page is the 3G 4G USB dongle. This allows the router to automatically connect to a 3G 4G internet if you lost your one connection. On the AR Cloud page, basically it allows you to connect a USB hard disk to the router. Then you can access it through the internet and sync your files. To speed this video, I'll browse quickly through the rest of the interface, so sit down and enjoy. So there you have it guys. My old router, the Linksys WRT1900AC served me well in the past 2 years until recently. Over time as the number of devices grew at home, I started getting heat issues which resulted in connection dropouts, so I had to get a new router. And boy, 
I've never felt any happier upgrading my router. Yeah, sure, WT Fast only supports 6 games at this moment, but nothing is perfect. One thing you'll need to think about. Does this glorious router worth $220 price tag? My name is Salah and thank you a lot for watching. I'll see you guys later.